Welcome to this video on using lists in Python. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video I'm going to demonstrate different ways in which lists can be created. I'm going to show you how to find the number of items in a list and how to turn a string into a list of characters which is really useful for some applications. I'm going to show you how to add and delete items in a list because lists, unlike tuples, lists can be changed. And then I'm going to show you how to get a pattern of items from a list, say every third one. And I'm going to show you how to sort a list. And then comes the mind-bending bit. We're going to look at how you can have a list of lists. Yes, a list can contain other lists. So let's move on. The first thing we're going to look at is how you create a list. Tuples are created with round brackets, but lists are created with square brackets. So anything in square brackets becomes a list. Here I've got the rainbow and I've got all the different colours set up as different pieces of text. A list doesn't have to just contain text. It can contain numbers and all sorts of other things too. The second way to create a list is to give it a piece of text and tell it this is a list and it then turns that piece of text into separate characters. So you can do things with that list of characters. Alternatively, you can create a list from the range function. So if you wanted the numbers 2 to 4, you could use the range 2 to 5 because as you know you always have to go one above where you want to finish. So if I want the numbers 2 to 4 I have to specify 2 comma 5. Next I'm showing you that you can create a list that contains completely different kinds of things. So we've got text and numbers in the same list. All that matters is that they're separated by commas. And finally, I've got the bit that warps the brain a bit. We've got a list of lists. So we've got these lists defined above, these four lists, and now I'm going to create a list of those. So rainbow would be list zero, shortest would be list one, two to four, list two, and me, list three. I'd like to point out that me is a list of two items, so zero and one because that will come in useful in a little bit. So let's jump into some code. In this piece of code, we're going to find out how many colors there are in the rainbow by using the len function, length. So we're getting it to print a rainbow has, then it will look to see how many items there are in rainbow and colors. So it says a rainbow has seven colors. Notice that it doesn't use this minus one thing for length. That gives you the true length of something. But we can do more interesting things than that. You'll remember that list of characters that was created by turning the text the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog into single characters. And this is that list printed out. However, we can then do things such as count. So we can count the number of times E occurs, and we can count the number of words by looking at the number of spaces. But since the last word didn't have a space after it, we've got to add one for just that operation. So what it says is that there are four E's in the sentence, and there are nine words. As I've mentioned already, lists are mutable. They can be changed. So a tuple is fixed, but a list is changeable, mutable. And that means that we can take our original two to four list and do things to it. So for example, we could add 27 on to the end. So where our original list had two, three, four, it now has two, three, four, 27. Or I can remove something. So I really don't want that three say. So I can do 2 to 4 dot remove 3 and it takes 3 out of the list. So now what we've got is 2, 4, 27. 
this piece of code takes a little bit of explanation. We have that list of characters called shortest, which is the shortest sentence that contains all the letters in English. And that particular set of characters can be sliced into bits. Supposing what we wanted to do is to start at the fifth item, but go up as far as the 31st item. Remember, the top value is always one more than we actually want. And we want to go up in steps of three. So we would have something like this. Shortest, five, 32, three. Five is where we start. 31 is where we finish. And we go up in steps of three. And if we print that out, well, we get this particular list of characters. Another really useful thing we can do with lists is to sort them. And what we normally do is to create another list that's a sorted version of the list that we're looking at. That way we don't destroy our original list. So what we're going to do is we're going to say there's a sorted colours list that I want you to create by sorting everything in rainbow. That leaves rainbow unchanged. Now we can say the colours sorted are, and we've got the list of colours in the rainbow sorted alphabetically. Now that isn't particularly useful, but as I've said, it can be really useful in all sorts of other situations where you do need your list sorted properly. And finally, the bit that takes a little bit of consideration. All of them is a list of all the lists. And that means that we can work through that in the same way as we can if it was just an ordinary list. But now we have two dimensions to take account of. So, for example, if I wanted to have the second item in the fourth list, the fourth list was that one with me, Andy, 87. The second item in that list of me is 87. Now we've got to work the opposite trick here. It's always one less because we start at zero. So we go to the fourth list and then to the second item. That's how you use a list of lists. Thank you for watching.